A marathon meeting at Henderson City Hall tonight, the heated debate for hours, should a Hindu temple be built in a rural neighborhood? The council's answer, yes, but it was not unanimous. Kim Passoff has reaction from both sides. So on one hand, you have dozens of neighbors who say that a large facility simply doesn't fit in their rural neighborhood. On the other hand, you have supporters of the temple who say they have a right to religious freedom and to build a place to express it. This is simply a zoning issue, not a religious issue. That the main argument among neighbors who live near Keel Street and Berlin Avenue off of Lake Mead Parkway in a rural part of Northeast Henderson. We have no sewer systems here, only septic systems. We have no street lights or sidewalks, very little traffic signs, and a number of streets that are dead ends. This complex should be built on properties designed for this type of facility. Dozens of neighbors near the site of the proposed temple showing up at the meeting wearing matching orange shirts to show their opposition, saying it would bring traffic and noise, taking away from their quiet way of life, like riding horses in the neighborhood. I moved there because of the ruralness, so I just walk out my yard and there I am, free to ride wherever I like. Taking away rural neighborhoods is wrong and they need to adhere to the zoning if you're going to make us adhere to it. Otherwise, that's reverse discrimination. The American Hindu Association is requesting a permit to build a Hindu temple, multi-purpose hall and residences for priests and pilgrims on five acres of land. We would like to have a temple here so that we can have a yoga session, meditation as we are aging and those things will help you in good health. It will keep us maintaining the health. We are very, we being Indians are very quiet people and family owned people. The city attorney apprised the council of federal law protecting religious groups. Religious institutions often face both subtle and overt discrimination in zoning, particularly minority, newer, smaller and unfamiliar religious groups and denominations. The city is in a very difficult position. Councilman Dan Shaw expressed his concerns about the possibility of a lawsuit, no matter which way the council voted. The one thing that concerns me the most is, will we get sued by the Department of Justice? After the approval of a permit to build the temple, those in opposition told Fox 5 they will now take the matter to court. As Shaw very clearly said, he's getting sued one way or another. Um, so taking it up to a judge to review the case and specifics on record is the next step. And Councilwoman Romero was the lone no vote. All the other members of the city council did approve the conditional use permit for the temple. The temple did make some concessions in their design. They plan on lowering a six foot wall, reducing the original height of the temple, which was supposed to be 35 feet, as well as reducing the number of parking spaces. In Henderson tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And the council said they will review the temple certificate of occupancy in one year.